Go. My name is Eric Von Damage. My name is Toby. Rock and roll drummer of Buddy Grant. Rock and roll drummer. Awesome. Eric Von Damage. My name is Matt Harris. I play guitar. I'm Karen Reed. I play bass. My name is Mario. Uh, you can either say Billy, or if you want to be real Italian about it, you can say Billy. And I play guitar. Is that because it's your shirt, Matt? Uh, well, kind of. It's uh. Let's see it. I, I was rocking a little Italian, but it's really because we were in Sacramento today, and this is actually a shirt I've never worn uh, for a rock show or for like a day out in the town, but I've had it for years. This is my kind of like cozy, like, ah, I feel so comfortable. Like, I would get into this shirt after a long day, and I'd shower, and I'd put on, you know, my satin pajama pants and my, uh, you know, this shirt right here. And I'd... See the Playboy buddies sit around you and like... Yeah, I would like lay on the couch and maybe, you know, watch it. Watch a original director's cut of, you know, Dune or something. Cool. I have a funny story about Mario's name. Once we played in Des Moines, Iowa, and we played at this little, like, DIY art space, like, 15-year-old kid place, and all these girls were, like, loving on Mario, <laughs> and they kept asking what his name was, and he kept saying Mario, and they wouldn't believe him, because I don't think anyone named Mario has ever been in Iowa before. And so they kept saying, no, what's your name, really? And he's like, it's Mario. And they're like, no, really, what is it? It was awesome. All right, we, go on. We also <laughs> played with Dark Beer, and we went to the first uh, Mexican restaurant ever in Kansas this tour. Too. Yes. So it's all about cultural development in the Midwest. We are, oh. Yes. We're promoters. It's, uh, th we're slow, but we're on it. Where yeah. in the Midwest are you guys from? St. Louis, Missouri. That's where my dad's from. Really? Yeah. Do, do you guys like toasted raviolis? Yeah, we yeah, love yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, all that's I know about them. That was my favorite food when I was a kid. When Red, yeah, Bo when, when Red Pony Clock stayed in our house, we had to go get some. because. Because they've heard about him. When Kate Jovanos came through with, uh, I don't remember who was touring with them. No, that guy, yeah. That's, no, I just, I don't remember because the beer and whatnot. They had it. Everyone's got to have it. I'm telling you, people. I'd also, ravioli. I'd like to plug where Karen works because anywhere you go in the country, other than this interview, you will say, we're from St. Louis, we have toasted ravioli, and everyone pretty much goes, Toasted ravioli, and then they say something about maybe blasphemy or like you know never having heard of it or whatever. Mm. But in St. Louis, if you say spinach toasted ravioli, they say the exact same thing. Oh. But you can get it at Hammerstein. But they so it's good. so good. Right? It's like so spinach you, artichoke dip shoved in fried ravioli. Yeah. So if you want to go to the one place in the world where you yeah, uh, it's called toasted, but it's fried. Wrap yeah. your brain around that. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Well, mm. If you want to go to the one place in the world you can actually dupe the people who think they're duping everyone, you go to Hammerstones at Ninth and Russell in Soulard. Historic Sulard. I wonder if I went there. <laughs> um, do you feel that your t-shirt brings you good luck on stage? Uh, or in general? Well, I never, I never attempted to wear this one. Is this like a question about this t-shirt or to all of us in any of our t-shirts? Well, do you, have a, do you have a particular piece of clothing that you feel like brings you bad luck on stage? I always try to wear heels because it makes me feel like I'm for a rock I always change my shoes before a show. I think you change your shoes before a show too. I don't anymore. Lately, I've been wearing my big, heavy boots. So well, I like gravity work. That it's magic. Heavy rock and roll yeah. Cool. yeah. What do you think about socks? I always wear socks. Otherwise, I, I always. But wear he doesn't shoes. wear them on his feet. What? <laughs> uh -huh. what do your parents think about your music? Okay. Do you like Here's the situation. <laughs> your parents went away on a week's vacation. And. They just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> my folks love it. They do? My, yeah, yeah, it's the my, one thing that keeps them understanding why I live how I do. Like, they just chalk it up yeah, to the fact my, that yeah. I play music. Do I'm you, in a band called Butt. <laughs> what, do you, what do they think about that? <laughs> they just go, well, the one time they saw Butt was actually just two months ago. We've been a band for many years, and they went, so that's what Butt sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and are they still married? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you want them to like you guys? Do you care what your parents think? I do. You know what? I think we may be one of the few bands in America where all of our parents are still I'm married. I'm still married. And I oh. think that oh. Jason Mojito were here. It's a real miracle. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but you know what? His parents, even though they're not married, are still tight. Yeah. They love That's each other. True, but, but they just couldn't be married. Mm -hmm. We have a fifth So we're reason. more like the Danny Warhols than the Brian Jonestown Massacre in that regard. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, my, the yeah. my, my parents so want to be proud of me and they, so they find any excuse. So, yeah, me so, too, me so, too. so the band is a good one. I think, yeah, I think I fall into that category. That's yeah. an important specification to make. Like, are you all in, like, inspired by the same thing when you write songs? I mean, how do you go about the songwriting process? I don't think they care about boys. 
You don't care about boys? Uh, what about men? I don't know. How about boys to men? <laughs> boys to men, I like. A, B, C, B, B, D. The East Coast stuff. Actually, Holy High Harmony was the first CD I ever bought. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So, How long have you been on tour for? This is our fifth day. Five. This is day five. I changed pants. How long? How long are you gonna be out for? We have seven more days. It's so. I, it's, it's a little tour, but you got, with long drives. Have you all been on tour before? Yes. Are you Maybe. just having fun? You're having a good old time. Yes. How Not, long? When did you get to San Francisco? Oh, we just got in town. We got in town, and it was enough time to go to Fisherman's Wharf and get some crab chowder. It was delicious. Great. Right. Then, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We're doing something fun Ooh, tomorrow. I think then we're, we're going, going to, to Napa. Day. There's talk of going to Napa. Really? Yeah. Hmm. What about you? Do you have any last words? I mean, you don't have, they don't have to She's about to kill you. We, we, we can keep going. We can keep going. I just feel like you might want to say something. No, I, I, I'm looking forward to experiencing San Francisco a little bit. Is it, do you feel that this is just a multifaceted city? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Are there any cities that you feel are more multifaceted? Well, in New Orleans, you can drink on the streets. And do you like that? I do love that. I would say that that's multi <laughs> Yeah. Well, in Zulu, you can drink on the streets. Yeah. But you can't legally. You, you can just get away No, you can't as long as it's plastic. Really? Yeah. You just can't be in your car driving. Them. Yeah. What's it blew your, my mind. What's your favorite city that you've been to so far? Ever um, in my life? Ever or, or, or on this tour? Um, On tour. On any tour. Sacramento. Sacramento? Yes. Why? Ever in life, Athens, because it's the best place. But, because what? Uh, if you talk ever in life, Athens is the best town to like just hang out in. Mm -hmm. So it is. And, uh, but last night in Sacramento was amazing because we is. stayed in an apartment that was above a liquor store With that had a porch that, and the weather And a dog beautiful. and a good, good dog. And we just sat outside and every once in a while somebody would have to walk back downstairs to the liquor store and get more booze. And it was just, they, were, they, they referred to the liquor store as their walk-in freezer. And it was great. Actually, wow. I think I helped them. It's a real that. convenient store. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did go to New Orleans too, although we haven't played there in so long. It's not a tour city for me, it's just a beautiful city. It's yes. a beautiful city. But nothing's better than St. Louis, Missouri. How, how long ago did you go to New Orleans? No. Uh, last year. Last year? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And um, as recently as last year. And I looked where Paul McCartney stays because I was staying in the same place where he was staying. Uh -huh. He wasn't there at the time, but he stayed there and he has his own suite. And I asked the maid if I could look at his room. And I did! Did he slip her a 10? Does 10 mean wiener? Because yes. I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you throw something down on the floor of his room and rub it into the carpet? No, we just would constantly go up to the floor and then finally a maid was cleaning the room and I said, May I look in the Paul McCartney room? And she said, Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna do this! I find that New Orleans is awesome, but it smells like booze and Does mold and puke. Like Actually, the only time I tried to play in New Orleans, we got chased away from the venue with the baseball bat. Oh, that's not as delightful as going there on vacation. And, and it's weird because I would still say New Orleans is one of my favorite cities. And I've never actually played there. I've only gotten chased away from playing.